Hey guys, welcome back for another Dragon Ball Legends video. Today we're going to be talking about a team building guide for PvP. Now this can go in PvE if you guys are not familiar with those terms. PvP means player versus player. PvE means player versus environment. Environment would be like the story mode, the current Ginyu thing that's out right now, any of the scout battles, um, or any of their basic regular stories that are available, the experience training, and the Zenny training, or anything else that might come out in the future. So that is what PvE is. Now, you can use these teams against PvE. Typically, during PvE, there are specific missions that you need to try and go up against. So you want to try and specify um, maybe one unit to actually do a lot of damage. For instance, um, there is the uh, Scout Battle Hard versus Krillin. There, it's not actually listed here, which is interesting because it should be. Um, Oh yeah, that's right, because it's it says with only 500, 131 character. So there is this mission to play specifically with only one Krillin character. Now, that means you need to take one character, it's going to be, it has to be a Krillin, and you have to fight him one-on-one -on -one with another Krillin card. So it's actually pretty interesting. So I actually had to build an entire team PvE style with this Krillin. I had, I had the extreme strength Krillin, so I almost got him up to 1,000. Um, the team that I ended up using for that specifically was the Strength Jocko, um, the Strength Adoria, Strength Second Form Frieza, Strength Piccolo, and Physical Nappa. The Physical Nappa does an increased damage to purple units, and all the other ones just gave him buffs either by defense or attack buffs. Uh, so that's how I ended up doing it, and I ended up beating it. And I think my Krillin, my Krillin right now is at level uh, 986. I think I took it on when it was like 985 or something like that, but that's how I did it, and that's a PvE. But again, that's for specific missions like in scout battles that you need to clear. So you're going to do a team building guide for those specific types of missions uh, based off of that. And again, I did a basic team building guide uh, about a week ago. If you want to go ahead and check that video out, it's the basics of uh, team building in Dragon Ball Legends. So you know how to build uh, a, a decent team. This specifically is going to be PvP. Um, the top five PvP teams are it's pretty much, I mean, we already talked about it. They're, they're only the really sparking units that are here. Um, so it's going to be either the Broly, the Vegeta, the Piccolo, or the Super Saiyan Goku. They pretty much make up everything here except for like the fourth one. And I forgot, I don't know what the heck HM1 stands for, uh, but it's just another team that you can run and that's going to have a Gohan in it. But pretty much your primary teams are going to consist of Broly, Piccolo, and, uh, well, Broly, Piccolo, Goku, and Vegeta. Now, personally, I don't have Broly. So I am going to be running, I typically run Team 5. Um, when I'm doing my PvP matches, it's going to be Vegeta, Piccolo, and Super Saiyan Goku. I know that they have the Spirit Bomb Goku up over here, but I don't really use him too much just because Piccolo heals. And on, honestly, I, I hold healing and defending. He's also a really good blocker. Healing and defending over this Goku, but that's just my opinion on the matter. Um, but right now, this is what the Reddit has found to be one of the, some of the best teams for PvP. Um, all your sub slash bench units are going to be Saiyans because they're pretty much giving all Saiyans buffs. So that's why you have all, as you see over here, pretty much everything here is the same, except when you're running the Broly, Piccolo, and Goku combo, you're going to have the Vegeta over here because of his buff. But outside of that, there's not going to be any other Vegeta over here, because Vegeta is pretty much run on every other team except for maybe Team 3. So with that being said, now you can see who you have for the best team, well, some of the best team building guides for PvP. Now, I personally, again, I'm running my Team 5, um, and I run the Super... Well, I run the Base Form Goku, the Raditz, and this Vegeta over here. Sometimes I just go with a full Sparking team, and I bring all of my Sparking units that I have at level 1,000, just because most of the time, the opponent that I go up against is not going to have a full 1,000 team. Um, so that's just, that's just my opinion on the matter, but at least as of right now. Maybe in another two weeks, that's going to change. The event that's currently available to try and get everything, everyone's characters up to level 1,000 still running. So by that time, it's definitely going to be coming down to your main unit. Now, um, I'm not going to talk specifically about equipment in this video, but we're going to talk about equipment in another video. But make sure to stack on the equipment to all of your main units that you are currently running. Every team can, ha can run different, uh, every team runs different equipment. And every time you run a different team, you could reuse the equipment that you use on a different team. So, you know, that's definitely going to benefit you when it comes to team building. Um, so as of right now, um, let me know what you guys are running and what equipment items you decided to run with it. Um, I personally like this. I also see this HM1 team. I really like Korra. Um, not Korra. <laughs> uh, I like Frost. I think Frost is really awesome. Uh, I personally am. I think I'm missing... Uh, actually, no, I have both Frost. The Agility Frost is such a phenomenal unit. Uh, I've been running him. I was actually going to get my Raditz up to level 1000, and then I decided not to and to go with Frost. 
So Frost is so cool. He has that special skill when as you have to be within one range of your opponent where he will poison them and stun them. So it's really it's actually really good when you're trying to get um, a, a rising rush off. That's definitely going to help you out. Uh, one of the other good teams, which is kind of like more of a joke slash meme, <laughs> um, is going to be the Ginyu Force. But the funny thing is they're actually a really damn good team. Uh, you have the Sparking Captain Ginyu, you have Jason Birder, and then you have the support units of Raccoon, Guldo, and the other free-to-play Captain Ginyu. By the way, if you haven't gone and, and done the scout battles for, I believe it was Guldo and Birder, um, definitely make sure you go out and do that. Let me actually go over here really quick and check the storyline. Um, it is going to be... Uh, where? Oh, Birder. Yeah, Birder and Guldo. So those are the two that are currently available. <laughs> so make sure you go ahead and do them. They're actually, it, it does benefit you while you get the Z levels up. Because then if you're going to run a full Ginyu Force team, it's definitely going to help you out. Anyway, um, overall, I, I can agree with most of this. Uh, my I also just pretty much just run Sparkings at this point. Uh, let, moving on, let's see, up to date as of 623. These are the new Super Soul drop rates. So we're going over here. This is just for the regular uh, Rising Soul 1, Rising Soul 2, Rising Soul 3. Uh, in terms of best drops, I actually need Rising Soul 2s. Um, and it drops on hard, which is really good. I prefer hard. Uh, this is going to be specifically strength. I prefer only running on hard because I want my experience to go up. Um, but as of right now, that's where you can go. Go ahead, pause the video, or check out gamey.jp. By the way, shout out to gamey.jp. Shout out to the legends.dvz.space. And shout out to the Reddit if I did not do that already. Um, for always having some awesome information and, and you know what it always provides me content so really thank you um rising soul three if you're trying to fill out the third level of your characters uh luckily everything's on hard and when i say luckily i mean like good for those of you who have characters over 800 to actually be able to take on most of these levels uh, i know a lot of my friends at work who are trying to play say it's very difficult i'm going to do an experience building or an, a guide for how to raise your characters up to 1000 and where to get the most experience which kind of uh, at this point in the game if you've been playing you kind of know anything on hard the latest stage on story mode hard is the place, best place to go but again i'll be talking about that in a separate video um, but here you go for that. Uh, next one is going to be the Super Soul, Super Souls 1 and 2. Super Soul 1, 30% um, drop rate on 163, 43% drop rate on 146. So if you're looking for Super Soul 1s, 146 has the highest drop rate right now in game. Uh, for the agility, Super Soul 1, it's going to be the 1 of 5, 6 at 33.8%. Uh, one, there's, you really don't really have too many choices, but uh, Super Soul 1 for uh, uh, red or power or strength is going to be 172 at 42.9%. Um, the, the yellow one or the physical one is going to be pretty much the same between 147 and 122. I would recommend doing 122 just because it's hard to get more experience if you're trying to level people up. And the green or technique characters are going to be only available either at 143 or 154 i guess i guess we don't have a drop rate for 154 as of right now super soul 2s those are the ones that are a lot more difficult to get to drop because they're all pretty much uh, well under six, eight percent at this point from what i'm looking at over here um if you're looking for the heart or the purple um or the intelligence whatever you want to call it uh the best one right now looks like it's at 124 on hard at 4.75 percent uh the agility one which is funny because the agility one or the speed one or the blue one all of them, um, I have so many of them. Uh, it drops one point, uh, one 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 on hard for at six point three three percent. The power or the strength one or the red one, best drop rate is going to be one two one on hard at five point two percent, and the yellow one is going to be at eight percent. Yellow physical um, or mind? Well, actually not mind. I'm talking now. I'm talking about Bleach Brave Souls. Eight percent. That's actually the highest drop rate out of all the Super Soul twos too, which is interesting. So go to one one two on hard to get those drop rates. Um, and looks like over here, 113 and 126 have the best drop. Actually, you know, 169 has the best drop, which is 5.33%. But I'm going to tell you my, my personal experience and my personal uh, preference is going to be 126 on hard again because of not only the fact that it does have a higher drop rate of 4.75% than the non hard level, except for maybe 169, the most experience you can get, and it's going to benefit your characters that you're trying to get up to level 1000. But. Uh, yeah, guys, so go ahead and do that up. Uh, again, scout battle, story missions, you have a whole bunch to do. Uh, the events are going to be running for a few more days. I believe the scout battles are actually ending very soon. So um, let's make so make sure you go ahead and grab them. I actually I don't think the, the date is not available on here. We should get the dates on there. But um, yeah, anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Um, I will definitely be doing uh, a video again. I have two videos dropping today for Dragon Ball Legends. The other one's going to be 
essentially how to meet the mission requirements to get all your characters up to level 1000 and some of the stuff that we mentioned in this video is going to be in that video as well so they're kind of going to be they'll both be released in one day and they're both going to have very valid information for you but anyway guys thank you i appreciate you taking the time to stop by and watch my video again let me know what your favorite teams are and let me know how how are you guys actually going for the all the mission rewards for getting three of every attribute type to level one down but anyway guys yep thank you i'll catch you all later peace